everyone, welcome back. So today I have a favourites video, my August favourites or just current favourites because I haven't done a favourites video in quite a while so I've rounded up my current beauty faves and I wanted to share them with you. So let's go. Also, happy Monday. Let's welcome autumn with open arms because I don't like the heat. <laughs> So first things first, I have been McLovin this. This is the Jo Malone Lion Basil and Mandarin Exfoliating Shower Gel. So normally for me, a shower's a shower. I don't typically think, oh yeah, let's have a shower. It's very exciting. It's just to clean yourself so you don't smell like BO. And you feel nice and clean and on the daily you get in, you get out, you, you scrub your bits and you're good. But I was really kindly sent this recently and I was like, oh, a luxurious shower product. And um, this has been in my bathroom and I've been using it every day ever since. And a little bit goes a really, really long way and the scent just lingers. It lingers on the skin all day, like late afternoon. You can be like, what fragrance are you wearing? And you're like, guys, it smells soap. And it just smells absolutely beautiful. The, the smell, hang on, it is indescribable. It just smells so fresh and so clean and warm and cosy. So I'm really excited to be using this when autumn does roll in and this heat goes away. Um, but I also love that it's exfoliating as well. So it's got the little scrubbage particles in there. It's just so lovely. It makes having a shower really like a spa experience, which you do want. It makes it a lot of a lot more of a nicer thing to do. Um, but it's gorgeous, it's absolutely lovely. So I've been loving, loving this. And everyone always says I smell really nice, which you would want this compliment. You don't want anyone to think you don't smell good. Um, so yes, absolutely been loving this. And speaking of Jo Malone, and speaking of fragrance, ah, nice little uh, transition there. I've got the Jo Malone Peony and Blush Suede Cologne. So this is probably the most popular cologne, the most popular Jo Malone scent that there is. It, I, it's been a favourite of mine for a long time, but more recently because my sister got married at the beginning of August and I got her the large size of the Peony and Blush Suede and then all of the bridesmaids I got us the travel size and it was the fragrance of the day, it was the scent of the wedding and I've worn it every day since just to relive that. It was the best day of my life and it wasn't even my wedding. So, you know, um, pretty good day. But no, I absolutely love this. This It just, <clears throat> everyone again is always like, what fragrance are you wearing? You smell amazing. It's so fresh and floral and feminine. And it just reminds me of the wedding and summer and having fun, which is just lovely. Um, so that's a really, really special fragrance that I've been wearing recently. So in this favourites video, I've got quite a few Pixie products. Now Pixie is a cruelty-free beauty brand and it's most popular for the glow tonic and um, a lot of influencers have done collaborations with Pixie recently, including Caroline Hirons for the Double Cleanse and Aspen Navard. I absolutely love the highlighters. As you probably know, that is one of my favourite highlighters in the world. But I have been absolutely loving this. Now this product is the Pixie Glow Tonic To Go. So these are the exfoliating toner pads and there are 60 pads in here. So this is essentially the travel friendly version of the Glow Tonic. Now, obviously I'm using these at home day to day and I just find them so much easier and a lot more convenient than using a liquid product with a cotton pad and you know doing this whole thing it's just easier to pick up a pad and get going now i just love these i use them in my morning skincare routine and in my evening skincare routine the little pads have the little bumps on them so they are nice and exfoliating and each pad is really soaked in the glow tonic and it's just great it leaves me feeling so glowy and so fresh and so ready and I just absolutely love them. So if you are a fan of the Glow Tonic, then do try these pads if you are lazy like I am. I would prefer them just already ready for you. <laughs> so I think it was in July that I went to Ibiza and I went with the beauty brand Being by Sanctuary Spa. So it is Sanctuary Spa's latest brand offering and it's a new range and it's very ballsy beauty as they like to say and it's just 
I love the the brand's message they're putting across, like be bold, be you, just be. Um, everyone is a human being, so whether you're being kind, being happy, being, you know, whatever you are, just be. And uh, yes, so my favourite fragrance collection from the brand Being is the Cloudberry and Lychee Blossom scent. So way back in June, July, when I was first introduced to the brand, I had the whole collection, the whole range of the Cloudberry and Lychee Blossom. But because I loved it so much, the, I only have one thing that I can actually physically show you, because the shower gel has been used, the body lotion has been used, the hand cream has been used, you get the idea. So, the only thing I have to physically show you is the uh, body mist of the Cloudberry and Lychee Blossom, which... <sighs> scent of pre-summer. <laughs> so this, again, is warmth and happiness and joy and fun and Ibiza basically for me and it was such a fun trip I actually vlogged that trip I will leave that linked down below if you want to see that but Being is a really lovely beauty brand for bath and body and it's super duper affordable as well so if you're yet to try anything from Being definitely check out the Cloudberry and Lychee Blossom scent or just go and have a whiff of all of them because obviously everyone's knows tastes are completely different um, but that's just my favourite so if you're yet to try anything from the brand then definitely go and have a smell everything is so brilliant and I love it it's such a fun brand back to Pixie I have the makeup fixing mist with rose water and green tea I love a good makeup fixing mist I feel like a lot of them are just like not gimmicks but do they all work we just don't know I have quite a lot in my makeup collection that once they run out I just grab onto a new one and just spray anyway. Um, my personal favourites are the Urban Decay All Nighter Fixing Spray and I really like the e.l.f. one. Wow, that's a blast from the past. And now I also love this one and this one definitely la makes the makeup last. I use this for my sister's wedding and I put it on at 6 in the morning and it lasted till 3 in the morning and with minimal touch-ups touch and again another plug here I filmed that makeup look so I will leave that down below um very long lasting makeup so this I absolutely love and not only does it ensure the makeup lasts all day on the face but it also is really refreshing for the skin and I'm sure it has skin benefits as well because it is pixie but it also smells absolutely gorgeous because it has got the rose water in there so it just smells so floral and feminine so when you're spraying it on you all know that I do my spray and I do my little my little shimmy just to ensure I get every last particle um but yes absolutely adore adore this I also have a new concealer favorite now I love the collection concealer as much as the next person we all love it but I tried this one recently and I don't know if this is a thing you know how like your hair can get used to shampoo so you have to like chop and change so it like refreshes the hair can your face get used to a concealer I don't know but I was finding that I wasn't noticing the benefits as much as I did when I first used the concealer um so I've popped that one back in the makeup collection got another one out I've got plenty of concealers to try so I gave this one a go and I really love it so it is the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Complete Coverage Serum Concealer. Mine is in the shade Fair, which I believe is the paler shade. Um, and it's really, really lovely. I'm wearing that today. I've worn it ever since I mentioned that I did. So I'd say like beginning of August. Um, and it's still going strong. A little bit really goes a long way. Like you literally open. I would not need this again. I would need to like dip it back in. And I would do my under eye, triangles, down the centre of the nose, forehead, under my nose, and my chin. Wouldn't need to, wouldn't need to re, re-pump. What's this, what is this action called? Don't answer that. Um, <laughs> but yeah, brilliant concealer. And because it's a serum concealer, it's really, like, serum-y. Wow, really? It's honestly, it's like, I can't explain but it's, it's got the serum benefits, it's very obvious that it is, and it's so, it just so nicely glides onto the skin. And I just use a beauty blender to buff that in, and uh, it works an absolute dream. It doesn't look cakey, and it doesn't, 
like crease or separate under the eyes either. So um, I've been really, really loving that one. On to my final pixie product of this favourites video. This is a lower lash mascara. Now I believe it comes in a duo set with a clear brow gel, which is always really handy. So these, the lower lash mascaras, I always thought was super gimmicky, just like a, why would you need this? just use the same mascara and by all means you can totally do that it's it's why wouldn't you do that but let me tell you these are actually insane like this one in particular is really really good and I'm I'm with you right now if you're like why do I need a separate mascara for my lowers I understand this I was you one day but um I think I first tried this one I was actually applying makeup on the train and I wanted to like I was like, Pia, I wanted to like turn to the businessman on business that was sat next to me. I wanted to be like, dude, this is great. Obviously he doesn't give a shit. So I didn't share that with anyone, but it's amazing. It can literally, as you can see, it's like the wand is the same girth, the same thickness as the actual brush itself. And you can, it just means that you can really go to the root of the lash, to the direct corner, the very corner, the inner corner, the outer corner, and the root, and go down, and it it's just brilliant. I just, I don't know why I always dismissed it, I guess because it is somewhat unnecessary, but it's brilliant at the same time. So um, I don't think I can look back now, now that I've tried a lower lash mascara. I think it's it's a done deal. And then my final favourite for this month is this. This is a Marc Jacobs Iconic Eyeshadow Palette. This is in the shade Provocature. Did you get it? So I was first introduced to these during one of the best days of my life. I was really lucky to be invited to a Marc Jacobs event and on that day we met Adele's makeup artist Michael Ashton and he was it was so incredible to meet him and watch a live makeup masterclass in front of my very eyes, him doing the iconic Adele look. Um, and we saw all of the beautiful new iconic palettes and they're just gorgeous. And then that very day in the evening, we went to see Adele and it actually turns out it was her final concert. It was on the Thursday, so it was her last London show. And it was the best day night of my life. Best day and night of my life. I love Adele. So we were lucky enough to be gifted the collection of the eyeshadow palettes and this one is the one that really drew my attention. It is the one that screams my name because it is all the pinks, the rosy, mauvey blush shades. So this is the most perfect palette for me. I am I'm yet to try these two just because they're quite bold and daring but all of the others I've used in combination. I'm wearing it today um, and I'm very obsessed with it. My favourite is probably the matte mauvey shade here but um, they are so pigmented, they are so easy to apply and easy to blend and it's very easy to create different eyeshadow looks with them but um, most of all they last all day, however long you want to wear them for. But no, I just absolutely love the this palette. I just think it's gorgeous and it's so compact so you can take it around with you, which I do just in case I want to transition from day to night. It's really handy. So I can do like my everyday look, which would consist of like these ones and then I can go in with a dark one to smoke it out if I wanted to. But yes absolutely adore this palette so those are my current favorite beauty products of the moment i would love to know yours what have you been loving in the warmer months i would love to know but i am very excited that i could put summer behind because i love autumn winter i am a winter baby i love being i hate being hot and i get lord knows i get really hot so autumn Thank you so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video.